Good morning, folks. We're going to hit some earthquake news, the sun's impact on the global electric circuit confirmed, and the rapid changes to Earth's magnetic field. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. We took one impulsive M-class solar flare, but the filaments were the bigger story. After some minor pops around the limb, we saw up near the north a strong plasma filament release that is not aimed at Earth, but which perfectly exemplifies why those filaments are as big of an eruption threat as sunspots and solar flares. The filament releases northward, as you can see, but we continue monitoring the remaining filaments as there are several that are in Earth-directed position. We'll have eyes on those today. The top earthquake of the last day was not the largest. 5.4 that struck Montenegro is extremely rare for the region. Luckily, there are no reports of serious damage. Sticking with seismicity, pre-earthquake signals. They looked at the magnetic field and GPS anomalies before earthquakes and discovered that the magnetic field signals are far more reliable, with much stronger deviations recorded by the magnetometers before the shaking. Folks, much of our solar forcing examinations involve the space weather impact to the global electric circuit, including why our diminishing magnetic field will lead to more extreme forcing. And we have an excellent confirmation coming at the 2024 EGU General Assembly. The stronger solar storms significantly work the potential gradient in the atmospheric electric field, amplifying the global electric circuit flows, and then impacting everything from pressure cells to clouds and rain and temperature. Lastly, Let's quickly recall the 2020 paper that described how the peak acceleration of the magnetic pole shift will hit rates that are 100 times faster than what we're seeing now, implying that when it really kicks into gear, Earth will be just months away from disaster. A new study confirms that major shifts and rapid changes do occur and that they are prevalent at the extremes of the field state, both during the peak events like the strong field anomaly 3,000 years ago and the weak points like the geomagnetic excursion we're entering again now. Again, we haven't hit these marks, so the changes that we've seen so far, which are significant, are just the beginning. A quick note, this mega storm hitting Colorado right now has delayed the delivery of the textbook to us, so for those who ordered it, it is going to be a couple more days and we apologize. You can get it, our new book on the disaster cycle, the layman's version, and much more at our store linked below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.